Hey guys, Random Videos 1997 one here, and today we're going to be showing you our first ever iOS video. And in this video, it's actually going to be a jailbroken application which we're going to be using to turbocharge our iPhone, and we're going to make it speed up by quite a lot. This is actually an iPhone 4 model, and we're going to be using the second version of the app. But there is a version 1 of the app which will work just as well for the older devices like the 3G and the 3GS. So first we're going to go and unlock the iPhone. We're going to go to along to Cydia and open it up. This is a jailbreaking iPhone and we use Red Snow to do it. We may or may not do a tutorial on how to jailbreak. So uh, you're just going to have to wait for Cydia to open up because this is a fairly new jailbreak it does take quite a while. So we're just going to speed up until Cydia is fully opened. Okay, so we didn't speed that up because it opened so quickly. So we're going to go to manage on Cydia, which is just down the bottom here. And uh, just wait, just cancel the updating database if you want. I think you can do that, I'm not too sure. But uh, I think I'll just... Okay, so we're on manage, click sources, click edit, and click add. We're going to type in repo, R-E-P-O dot... I N S I N S A um, N E L N E L Y I dot com and click add source. Okay, so it's verifying. If this comes up, click add anyway, and just let it update the sources like it would normally do if you were installing something on Cydia or adding a source. Uh, hopefully it won't take too long to add this source so you can see it's nearly done now just downloading packages and one thing I need to say if you would like to request any iOS videos um, you're going to need to do it soon because I'm actually. This is actually. I this iPhone is actually broken. You can see it's got just got searching there. It's actually dead. Just searching there the whole time. So what we're going to actually do is we're going to take this back to Apple and get it replaced. So, um, yeah. So if you want to request any videos, you're going to have to request them before I actually get this iPhone replaced. So once you've done that and you've got the sources, you're back to Cydia. You want to click that source we just added, and I think that was the right one. Uh, yeah. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to go and find spring optimize in this, and sometimes it can be hard to find. Okay, um, I don't think I can actually find it in here. So if you can't find it in here, because there's a lot of stuff in here, yeah, there's loads and loads of stuff. What we're going to do is we're just going to hit search, and we're going to type in sp. R I N G So spring T and then we've got spring to mice here. Spring to mice two is what we want to click. And you can see this is the one, spring to mice two. And then we just zoom in a bit so you guys can see it a bit better. And we're just gonna hit install and confirm it and let it just install as it would install any city or app that you would normally see. And if you think we can make any improvements so you can see the iPhone better, um, please let us know. We have tried doing it through the computer, but uh, for some reason we couldn't get it working. So we decided to just film it with the camera, but it, I don't think it looks too bad filming with the camera because we've got a glorious HD camera to make it look gloriously nice. Just make sure you're watching 1080p for the full viewing experience. Okay, so then we're going to hit Restart Springboard, and what that does is it reloads uh, your application bar it's a bit like restarting the phone it just reloads all the files okay and your phone should be locked slide to unlock okay and it's going to have this animation telling you you need to go to the settings so we're just going to go to the settings and go all the way down and you should find spring optimize here now which you're going to click spring optimize and just dismiss this so the main reason to make the main way to make this faster is to click animations and you can see custom duration turn that on and put it all the way down to the bottom. Go back to Spring Optimize and click Reload. But firstly, what the animation is is when you say you click this, it's gonna uh, use this animation here. So dock 
it's going to have this animation that changes it. We're just going to completely remove that. So we're going to respring the board. And sometimes this can make it go too fast, so you have to be careful making it too fast. So as soon as we go onto the settings, uh, you can see how fast this is going to open. As soon as you see, as soon as you click it, it's literally going to go straight to it. So we're going to go back to spring optimize and capabilities. Um, you can choose all this thing, all these things. So this is multitasking. Um, so you can choose all the things that are going to be staying on and then you want to go to um, you can basically play around with all these things these things like app switch up you can choose how it switches to apps and all these sort of things you can choose icons and you can hide like labels for icons you can do lock moving you can disable jittering there's uh, various things you can do with this and this is basically a whole of a uh, load of um, different things that have been put together to make one really really uh, nice looking application that has everything in it so I think we've showed you enough of this but there's a lot of stuff you can do on it so you can just play around and look around at everything like I am doing now and there's just so much stuff that can be done through this it's really really good so uh, thank you very much for watching guys and we will be sure to see you next time which will probably be another iOS video okay guys I'll be sure to see you next time and please remember to subscribe, comment and like the video.